Well, that was quite an election. Um, I don't know that I want to go into great detail about it, but it definitely was a big moment for America. Um, I think as individual citizens, we have an opportunity anytime there's an election to have our voice heard. Um, and following the election, whether or not the candidate you wanted wins, um, you have an opportunity to be reinvigorated about the political process and about how you can be involved to help make the world around you a better place. So take that in stride as I work my bipartisanship all up and down this vlog. Um, today is Wednesday. I just took Dex for a walk. Um, and I don't think we have any plans today. I think we're actually going to have a chill night. We're, we don't have a reason to stay up late. We're just going to be at home tonight, which is really nice. A um, couple meetings at work today. Hopefully nothing too dramatic. I think the drama was all last night. Fingers crossed. Um, and we'll, we'll figure out what else is going on today. Um, probably a lot, a lot of video games, if I had to guess. Although maybe I can talk Eric into playing a board game this afternoon right when we get home before he plays Overwatch. Maybe we'll play, he also wants to paint his minions for our mechs and minions, and I want to play it again. So maybe I can get him to get a roll on so that we can definitely play with the painted ones this weekend. That's a good idea. Um, all right. I have to go finish getting ready and we will, I'll check in with you guys once I get home this afternoon. It is Wednesday morning here in New York. Um, the election is over. It went on late. I don't think we got an answer till, what was it, like four in the morning? I don't know, I wasn't up. She was asleep. I mean, I was asleep too. I stayed up till, well, I mean, I was, Awake and asleep, awake and asleep, all the way until 1.30. Um, and I feel like by then we kind of knew who was going to win. So I kind of turned the light off and went to sleep. So it's Monday. We have a new president-elect. Um, that he won't take office until January? 20th. January 20th, that's correct. So now we just wait and see um, what's going to turn out. Obviously, with any new uh, president, head, whatever it is, changes don't really take place immediately. So we wait and see. It's the waiting game. I don't know what I'm doing today. Um, it's supposed to be nice weather in the morning. It's going to rain this afternoon. Um... But yeah, Emma said something about playing a board game later on. That's exciting. We know we don't play board games on weekdays. So maybe we'll get a little mechs versus minions. I have a afternoon meeting and that's pretty much it. My leg's feeling better. That's good. I can kind of walk. I mean, I haven't taken any steps yet. So we're gonna see what that brings, how that feels. And that's it. You're getting a Kindle tomorrow. I'm getting a Kindle tomorrow. It means I have to read. Wait, does the Kindle have like text to speech? I gotta look into that. So it's a dark, cold, and overcast, rainy kind of day. And pretty much all I wanna do is cuddle, cuddle up on the sofa and watch TV. I'm waiting for Eric to get home. He had a meeting after work today or that ran late today. So I just want him to get home and we'll, we can just like do couple on the couch stuff and just hang out and I don't know. It's been a weird day today. The weather has matched the mood, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I originally thought I wanted to play board games this afternoon. I just don't know if I have the mental willpower. Eric stopped by my office earlier today and he was, it was like right after lunch time and he's like, I need caffeine. Eric doesn't drink caffeine during the day. He's like, I need a pick me up. I'm gonna go get a soda and a cookie. The man hardly ever has soda unless it's in a mixed drink. Um, so it was definitely one of those days for everybody um, where we just needed to, to take a little bit of time. I, I think it'll be restorative to just watch some escapist TV and, and veg out and like 
not think about stuff for a little while, just have some recovery. I think that's probably good. Oh, I'm supposed to have a Home Chef delivery. I didn't see a box downstairs. I'm supposed to be getting my first box of Home Chef today and I was gonna give you guys a quick look at what it's like. I've canceled our Blue Apron subscription. The meals were good, but a little too out of the box for us, like outside of our comfort zones. So I was canceling a lot or if I did get it, it was like I wanted one, maybe one and a half of the meals. So I gotta go check and see if the box is downstairs. Um, I think we're supposed to be having mac and cheese tonight, which is like the perfect comfort food. We still have a little bit of leftover pulled pork from Monday, which is still good. So I think that's probably gonna make the rest of the night great. Cause yeah, I just wanna like cuddle. Yeah. All right, uh, let me go see if the box is downstairs. Well, that's a bit mysterious. There's no box downstairs. Um, Hopefully it'll get here soon because it's almost five. Uh, that is a little strange. They sent me an email saying it was coming, so I don't know what's going on. We might be ordering takeout tonight. I don't have a problem with that. I just want to know where our box is. Okay, so the Home Chef box came and I started unpacking it and I figured it was just another box full of stuff. Also, Eric came home. Hi! Okay. So the box came and I'm unpacking all the stuff. Everything is packaged together, which is kind of nice. Oh, it's not like this. With... Blue Apron, they have packets of things that are packaged together for a particular recipe, but like all the meat is together and then all the veggies are together. Oh. And then they have separate packets for like the butter and the cheese and like the the. Is this just like things. two single slices of cheese? Evidently. Okay. But in the side of the box, because it's our very first box, they gave me a binder to put the recipes in and the, the recipes, recipes are hole-punched. Hole These people don't understand. This is my life. I have a binder already. They, they, they know me. It's, it's like... Wait, can we talk about what we got? Like, this is how I have all my recipes done. And they've just provided me a way to continue doing things the way that I like. I like points. this. Were they, was this as nice as? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, so, so here's. Chimichurri steak. Chimichurri steak. The difficulty, spice level, mm -hmm. nice prep time. They everything. didn't include the in your kitchen stuff in the blue apron boxes. Like the things you should have in your kitchen to be able to cook this. Oh, so we need this. Mm -hmm. to... to make that. Which is all stuff that I have in the kitchen. It's. Oh, is that Olive oil, ready? salt, pepper, baking sheet. Okay, okay. Like normal and then here, kitchen stuff. Here, I really like the the pictures. They have that in the blue in the blue apron. As so well. we got that, and then we got honey mustard roasted pork, pork tenderloin. tenderloin. That looks actually pretty yummy. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I like that you're doing like a presentation. Yeah. This is what we're having tonight. We're having mac and cheese, brown butter bat mac and cheese. I'm and then we also got stuff to make I'm not going to eat this part, so like, ignore the vegetables. He just wants to eat the smoothies. mac and cheese. And then... Smoothies! A smoothie! I'm excited. What kind of smoothies are these? Fruity Tootie! Fruity Tootie smoothie. Alright. Um, I was just super excited about the binder. Who cares about the food? I just got home from work. Um, it was a good day! It was a really good day at work. Um, what did I do at work? It was good, it was busy. My big thing, which is hilarious, was um, I fell asleep for about 30 seconds at work. Yep, totally. You shouldn't admit that on camera. No, it's okay, it's okay. Fell asleep, 30 seconds at work, um, and had a meeting with... Not because you fell asleep. No, no, but had a meeting with the, the boss today. And I admitted that I fell asleep at work, which what? was... No, it was hilarious. It was funny. We laughed about it. Because we talked about how everyone's kind of tired. And I was like, you know, it's an exhausting day. And he's like, yeah. He was exhausted. Everyone's exhausted. And I was like, I said, I actually had to go outside and grab a soda. Because I was reading email. And then realized, oh my god, I fell asleep for 30 seconds. So I went out to get a soda. And he was laughing. And I was like, I actually thought within that 30 second window that I was talking to him, that you showed up at my office to like, hey, just remember we have him. Oh, he's sleeping, <laughs> but that's not what happened. We had a really good laugh about it. It was fantastic. Uh, yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. It's nice when you can have a, a good conversation with like your boss. boss. Um, 
I'm tired. I'm tired. I, I have soda in me. I'm about to have another drink. But, um... It was interesting talking to people about the election today. Not just people, but, but uh, students. Uh, and just getting perspective on things. Yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was an interesting day. I'm not gonna say it was bad, I'm not gonna say it was good. It was just a really interesting day. Just getting everyone's thoughts and perspectives and feelings and, you know, just letting people know that it's, it's gonna be okay. Whichever way, whichever way the election would have gone, these feelings and emotions would have existed. So we just have to remember that and it's gonna be all right. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna take it easy, get out of this monkey suit, have a drink and Emma, Yes? Is one wearing my shirt. We're married. And she's going to make dinner. Dex, what are you going to do? Yeah, it's pretty much just going to sit there and pant. All right. That's it for now. So today was kind of a weird day. I mean, I don't know quite how to qualify it, but it was definitely odd. Um, I hope things sort of feel more back to normal tomorrow. I think everyone was just coming off of lack of sleep, the election, everything. I mean, understandably, people are upset. There are people who are happy, but there are definitely people who are upset. And, you know, we live in New York, which is very Democrat, like, Democrat heavy. So a lot of people are very upset about the way the election turned out, but we just need to move on and, and be hopeful and confident and political if that's how people feel. Um, I'm going to stop talking about the election now and focus more on normal everyday life stuff. Um, tomorrow's Thursday and I thought I was going to get my hair cut tomorrow, but I'm not. It's not till next week. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. We don't have any particular plans, um, which is nice. Eric came home late tonight, which meant that we didn't get a chance to really hang out before dinner, before, I mean, before I had to prep dinner. Um, so maybe that'll happen tomorrow. Here's hoping. Yeah, so that's about it. T today was a weird day. Everyone, the whole city felt off all day today. Um, and I, I wouldn't have guessed that, but it did. It really felt off today. So I'm glad that we can all just relax tonight, take a moment, take a breath, pause, regroup, and hopefully we can attack tomorrow with a different, more positive, um, sort of influence. Um, yeah. So regardless of how you felt about the vote, or the election. I hope you did have a chance to vote and have your voice heard. Um, and we will see what happens from here. You know, government is a crazy thing and there are so many people involved that one person, while one person's vote is important, even the president can't make decisions just by themselves. They have a Senate, I mean, the Congress is there for a reason. So, you know, there's there's going to be there's going to be checks and balances. That's the way our government was designed. So, it should be all right. It'll be okay. Um, all right. I think that's it for today. Not the most positive day, but there's always tomorrow. Um, and I guess I will see you guys then. All right. Bye. You're in my Dreams. I can feel you. It's a familiar feeling which was lost.